Hey guys, it's Yanni here and today's video I'm going to show you my DIY flash reflector or photography lighting reflectors. So without further ado, let's get started. So here it is, my DIY flash reflector. If you're wondering what it is, it's just literally a piece of cardboard and it's covered by this white sheet of paper. I just literally attached it on the cardboard by this tape. As you can see in the back, it's pretty dirty. Anything white or very light will reflect the light for sure back to your subject. However, those reflectors that you can purchase online that are silvers and gold will reflect more light for sure, definitely back to your subject. However, the paper is very um, shiny itself, so there's no problem in reflecting light. So I used this DIY reflector during my newborn baby photo shoot. I was photographing the baby right here on my bed and the light was coming literally on that side from the window. I was using all natural light and when I was facing the baby this way, of course half of the face was lit and half of the face was all shadow. So what I did was I did the DIY reflector because I don't have a reflector, I don't have a real reflector, the one that you can fold and pop open. So what I did was just, I just made my own reflector. And like I said, I just used a cardboard and a piece of paper and I just taped it around the cardboard to have a bright white reflector and it definitely reflected the light. If you want to see the behind the scene of the newborn baby photo shoot, I will link it down below or check out my channel. I also used this reflector during my professional headshots photo shoot. I also did a behind the scene photo shoot with that. Uh, check the link down below or check the video in my channel. So in this video, I'm going to show you how I made it. It's, think of it as like you're wrapping a Christmas gift or something. It's very easy. It's just a piece of cardboard and a sheet of paper. And I'll show you right now how I do it. So what you're going to need for this DIY reflector project is a piece of cardboard, a piece of white paper. I just got it from Walmart or Dollar Store or any arts and crafts section. Um, tapes and scissors. But if you have a white cardboard, that would work as well to be honest so that you don't have to do all this wrapping. However, what was available at my home was just this black cardboard that I used for a photo shoot as well as a dark background and I happen to have this white sheet of paper and tape obviously and scissors as they are household materials. So I'll show you right now how I did it. So what you're going to do is just cut the piece of paper based on the length of the cardboard. After doing that, I just flip the whole thing and then I wrap it. So there you have it. I hope you learned something from this video. Sometimes in photography, you just gotta have to be very resourceful because as you all know, photography gears are so expensive, they're so pricey, and it could definitely break your bank. So um, sometimes you just gotta be resourceful and think outside the box. So what I suggest is use this kind of reflectors at your indoor studios or your home studios because this is not really very travel friendly because as you can see it's very big and you can't really fold it so it's very bulky as well so indoors and home studios are great for this kind of reflectors so there you have it thank you for watching as always i will link my social media and my website down below in the description box so check that out if you want if you like this kind of video don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel and let me know down in the comment down below what kind of tutorials or videos regarding photography or other stuff you would like me to do next so thank you for watching as always and i will see you all next time